Oh my gosh. <sighs> What's up, Paper Cup? Kamusta kayo? I am back. Hello, my name is Nate. If you guys don't know me, that's because hindi ako nagpo-post anymore that much very often. Hmm, I wonder what happened to what I said a few weeks ago. I'm gonna make one video every day. Anyway, here are five books that have changed my life. These are self-help... Health. Self-help. These are self-help books that really have changed the way that I think. Up to today, they have helped me in my mindset when I approach life. The first one is Strengths Finder 2.0. This is a book by Tom Rath and it basically makes you go through a test which you take online but you need a code inside this book. So you need to buy the book first before you take the test online. But then when you take the test online, pinapakita niya yung top five pinaka strengths mo in life. Like in, in kunyari you're in the workplace or you're in school, you're doing projects. How are you and your personality and just the way that you're hardwired to think? What are special things about you that are very strong that you can contribute to the group with? There are strengths like belief, like communication, like activator. An activator always wants to like um, make things happen and create. There's an achiever which always likes to do the best of his work. Parang ganon. Ako, my strengths are positivity and then developer and then strategic. And then strategic, and then ideation, and then connectedness. So, uh, major confusing what you know, developer and connectedness means. But then, if you read the book, you'll find out. But the most important thing is number one. I'm a very positive person somehow, some way, someday. Let's go to the next book. Ay, oh, ano, um, the book also parang ayun, kunyari, adaptability, boom, like that. And then it shows you, oh, what happens if you're adaptable? What's the story of someone who's adaptable? What can you do? Ideas for action. The second book is Rich Dad Poor Dad. I read this when I was in grade school, guys. Tino mo, ang sobrang, ang sobrang luma. Ang luma, it, it just looks very like, but this is a very, Good book. It taught me a lot about money. It taught me a lot about how to track my money and how to view my money. The mindset with which um, I see my money. The biggest lesson I have learned is the difference between an asset and a liability. Basically, an asset is something that helps you make more money and a, li a liability is something that takes money away from you. Very basic lang to. Pero kunyari, yung asset ko, let's say, is my YouTube channel and uh, let's say ad revenue, diba? Kunyari, every video, I make 500 pesos. Ganon. Then, every video and then every view, like, it, I don't even have to be working anymore. I could be sleeping for all I care. Pero, pinapanood niya, pinapanood niya, pinapanood niya tong video na to. Shucks, nabubulog ako. And that generates money for me even while I'm asleep. So, that's kind of that. That's what an asset is. Very simplified. And then, a liability is something that takes away money. So, yung Spotify subscription ko, yung Netflix subscription ko, Every month that takes away money from my bank account. So, asset ko, yung liability ko, I need to make sure na mas marame yung assets ko kasi sa liability. So that in the end, the money that I make while I'm asleep is more than the money that I lose while I'm asleep. And then I have extra money after that. Gets nyo? Parang, yeah. That, this book is very helpful. The next book is a book that helps me make decisions. It's called The Decision Book. Ito siya, ang dami niyang mga parang graphs and charts and helpful like drawings. Uh, basically, they're called models and they just help you visually, graphically understand the factors that go into making a specific decision. So there are decisions that have to do with doing, that have to do with thinking, that have to do with me, myself, and that have to do with others so how to improve others how to understand others better how to improve myself how to understand myself better it's very interesting and wherever you are in life whatever you are doing there is going to be a model a principle something in here that will help you make decisions number four <laughs> god's not dead uh medyo nawala ko na yata yung cover niya but um this is a Evidence for God in an age of uncertainty. Uncertainty. If you have atheist or agnostic friends, we love them and we want to keep being friends with them and showing love to them. But if we also want to preach the gospel to them and show them why we live our lives so full of joy and passion, then we might want to read this book because it will help us defend our faith. The answers to evolution, the answers to the problem of 
evil? You guys know the question. Oh, if God is good, then why is there evil in the world? Di ganon. They're all answered very gently and lovingly through this book, God's Not Dead by Pastor Rice Brooks. It doesn't only counter the arguments of evolution, but it builds its own arguments based on true facts in science as well as builds the reliability of the Bible. But there are some people who might say, oh, the Bible, that's just a myth. It's just you know, a, a storybook. There's also evidence in this book that proves the reliability of scripture and just all these other stuff. So for my Christian friends out there, this is a really good book to read. Especially kung, you know, even if you're not defending the faith to anyone, pero ikaw mismo meron kang, you have your own doubts, you know. Where is that? Saan na ba yun? Where are you? Where are you? Hmm. Oh, hello. Yung pang lima, uh, I really cannot find it. Um, I think I read it on digital or I, I don't know. Pero ito yung picture niya, boom, it's the Samson Syndrome. It's one of the books that I read when I was around 15, 16 years old. It's a guy's book and it talks about the 12 tendencies that can bring down strong men. Uh, disregarding their boundaries, struggling with lust, ignoring good advice, overestimating their own cleverness, and others. We all know Samson, he was a badass in the Bible. He was super strong, but then he started to fall because of kinks in his character. The book talks about a lot of lessons we can learn from the guy's life, how we as men can take up our role in the kingdom of God and take up godly perspectives when it comes to boundaries, when it comes to wisdom, when it comes to counsel from older people, when it comes to sex. There are lots of great books for girls also. There is a book called Captivating. Uh, yeah, here's the picture. Janina read that, you can ask her about it. Tweet mo siya, sabi niya, you came from my video and whatever. Guys, men and women were hardwired differently. Um, equality is good, but it's more like equity and treating people fairly according to their context and situation. We treat everyone with love and goodness, but we can't treat everybody all the same way. That's why women were brought up to be a particular way and men were brought up to be a particular way. That's what I believe and how God created us to be. Kaya mayroong mga books for girls and mayroong mga books for boys. And for guys, the Samson Syndrome really helps with developing our character in being a man for God. Alright, sana nag-enjoy kayo. I hope you guys learned something from this. If you're picking up a book that I uh, mentioned, then comment it down below. If you guys want to like this video, please like it. If you guys want to subscribe for more content, it would really help and encourage me also to put out more content. If you've read one of the books that I mentioned, uh, comment down below if I said something that is not totally accurate to the book, then correct me. Just comment it down below. Ayun, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.